In 2018, more than 1,800 people died mm. from a drug overdose in the state of Tennessee. In just Hamilton County, the Department of Health says 66 people died. Many times we hear stories about addiction and what led people to use drugs. But tonight, four recovering addicts shared their story of recovery and what made them strong enough to quit. Sydney Edwards brings you their story of hope. Sydney. Josh and Kim, as I met the recovering addicts I'm about to introduce you to, they all had a story of hopelessness and feeling like the path to recovery would never be in their future. Now, each sit here together to tell anyone that is struggling that there is hope. Anthony. Anthony. Nine months sober. Hi, I'm Lisa. Celebrating 11 years on Friday. Julie, 14 years and counting and getting over a fear of public speaking. Gary, 19 years sober after living with addiction for 22 years. Four people in four completely different stages of recovery and here to share why hope is what got them through. I just wanted some peace. I wanted to quit planning my suicide every single day of my life. I'm sick of hurting everyone I love. I'm sick of hurting myself. I started hearing things like hope. It might seem like a never ending battle. I was an angry person that hadn't worked on myself and I thought if I just left it at the altar, I would be okay and God would take it from me and use heal me. And that is absolutely what I believe, but it's absolutely what did not happen for me. A life that you tried your hardest to get away from. I wore these masks, it was feelings and emotions that I didn't know how to. But many of these speakers say once they kicked the habit, the real issue set in. Because I didn't understand um, the cognitive defects that were in my brain as a result of trauma. No story of addiction is the same, and for each of these four, neither is the story of recovery. But, I just had a phone call to save my mom. but their second chance at life. And I ended up overdosing in the bed next to my fiance. She woke up, I woke up around 8 EMTs. She recessed and she kept me breathing. Or the epiphany that they wanted better for themselves made them make a change. This isn't a story about programs, but these four will tell you that is a support system that helped them through. I, as a rule, go three meetings away still with a one year client and more if I need to. Because when they realized there was no I in recovery, they looked to a sponsor who beat addiction or a friend that showed sobriety was worth it to help them. It's really grateful to be here. Thank you for letting me share. Tonight's meeting was an effort from the Hamilton County Health Department to beat the stigma of addiction and show that people in recovery are more like you and me. Health educator Carlene Angwin says recovery can be positive and success is possible. Josh. A powerful stories for sure. Thank you, Sydney. There'll be one more listing session next month. The location and time can be found on our website, newschannel9.com.